dedication to Allah Lee. I'm so proud to be an African. It's not always easy. Um, when you go out there, they see it as a second-class nation that um, just give them anything. Allah Lee coming third is a massive feat. Welcome back. It's this Post Matters right on Super Screen Television. Ijoma and Tayo are still in here with me. Uh, Tayo, let me start with you. Um, the Principal Cup is coming up, February 26, and it's a very, very huge competition for secondary schools around the country. But it is massive for me because it's a discovery point for young talents to go into the under-17, under-20. Yes, it's, it's a fantastic one that is, is coming back. And um, just like you said, majority of our stars, like the likes of Sunday Ulisse, um, uh, Stephen Keshi, some of these guys, they were discovered from secondary school. Some of them are representing uh, their schools. And the beauty of this is, it's not going to be only football. We are going to have table tennis, um, badminton, uh, boxing, and a whole, lot of, a whole lot of other sports. So it's, it's a fantastic one. And uh, this issue of uh, Nigeria doesn't have players. So we can discover players from... Fine from, talents. From, from, um, uh, Cup, uh, from a principal cup like this, from a championship like this. And... It's one thing to discover a player, it's another thing for to them to, be, to nurture those players because we've seen a lot of stars over the years, even after the likes of Okocha uh, catching, but they never see the light of the day. So I see it as an avenue for the sports minister and this particular sports minister he has been uh, throwing his weight behind uh, sports. He has been doing wonderfully well. He's not majorly football minister. So he has been telling us that he's a minister of sports in Egypt. So it's a fantastic one. It's a fantastic one. Um, they have a lot of ambassadors, Tajuddin Disu, Dosu uh, Joseph, Choma Jonwa, and a lot of them are parading our rather have been paraded as ambassador to encourage and motivate the young ones. Ijoma, before we go into the big one uh, coming up this weekend, um, the principal cup itself is embracing other areas of sports. And we are lacking when it comes to moving or closing up the gap in Africa, boxing, cricket, and what have you. Do you really think this will bring up a new momentum for sponsors to take interest in sports? Yes, I, th I think that you just said it um, absolutely right. Um, this will just, it's not just all about football. This will just give us um, or give companies who are interested in other sports, not just football. It will give them the opportunity now to want to put their interest or put their money where their interest is. I think this is huge marketing. And when I was reading, why should you have different ambassadors to this? I got to understand that they are not just representing just football. They have people who, yeah, people that really have the knowledge in volleyball, people that have the knowledge in athletics, just to come together. Like Choma Ajunwa, beautiful. You know she can always work with athletes and go and to companies and she played the game like i play principal scope right i did i i was a product of principal scope 1998 so when i saw it coming back i was happy not just for sunday that so you're telling me that you dribble tire <laughs> no but for me when he died it was it was something else but i was discovered from principal cup i was saying always that if I keep Ahmed on the post you can't score Ahmed. no i would beat him anytime any day he can't even score when i'm <laughs> when i'm changing it was my mentor from principal school so i think for me it's a nice one for the minister himself i think now we would have our boxers before you we used to be a boxing nation yeah we used to be an athletic nation our athletes they are everywhere Jerry doing good. Do yeah well, all of a sudden, we are nowhere to be found, but this is a very um, good um, one for me. I and I think we'll do better. I agree with you. Thumbs up for the organizers. And um, there's a proponent of this particular principal called Taji Jisu. He's been here several times. I'm going to bring him back to the studio with some of the uh, ambassador to tell us uh, the sole objective. We're not objective, but let's hear from the horse's mouth as time goes. I'm working on that. Uh, let's get to something quite interesting. I didn't like this picture when it came up, but what can we do? Uh, the best have to go on but the two very vibrant team in the mpfl league right now will be slugging it out against each other now listen to this the governor of river state says go out there go to Aba, beat them come back collect 20 million and tire this is crazy <laughs> well he's he's commendable and uh, the sort of moral booster for them but just like you Jama said when we went on break are they going to get the money at the end of the day or it's just um um, a media propaganda 
-hmm. But for me, the, the good one I saw that he did, the boss he gave, he gave to, to Rivers and Girls. Because he was saying something like, there is, going, there is not going to be any sentiment again. That mm -hmm. the treatment the men are getting, the women should also get the same thing. So for me, it's a good one. Even if they don't get the money at the end of the day, mm -hmm. with this, is is very commendable. And if you go a long way to give those players, I want to assure you that belonging. Governor Wilson Wiki is a man of his word. Mm -hmm. um, in 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 the Igbo language, they, there's a word I love, ikwe me. Mm -hmm. uh, in German, we talk and do. Talk, talk and do. do. He knows what is at stake, and with the coach Stanley. Guma, no, Guma yeah. doing his very best. Uh, I'm not speaking for him. I'm not a spoke person, but you see, you don't tell people or give such statement to young players who wants to lay their life on the ground to impress their supporters and you hold back such money. So I'm going to tell you, Joma, right here before she makes her own comment, they will beat any in Over it, to you. you. You know, you know, on <laughs> Sunday is Val's Day. <laughs> Sunday is Val's Day, and if you're not on MPFL yeah. um, app. You're doing yourself. I don't know how you want to love any who or how you want to love on this anybody. This is the game I'm sticking to. But Aimba on Sunday is the love of my life. Okay. Aimba on Sunday. Where is the camera? Aimba on Sunday yeah. beats Rivers United. Two goes to one. I'm okay. saying you quote me anywhere any Are day. you reversing it? I am not reversing it. You said and uh, Rivers who is going to beat Aimba yes. two goes to one. Yes. And I'm saying no. Aimba okay. beats Rivers two goes to one. And Tayo is in on this with me. Ah. I know. Francisca okay. is in on this with me. Joel oh. is in on this with me. We in are the all spirit, in the spirit of, of love. Uh, I'm bringing all my loved ones. Okay. I love you, Sha, but Simon. Simon. Because Simon. of this game. Yes, because uh, of this no game. Problem. But if you not tell me Aimba would win, I love you very big. Simon. No, but Rivers United have been doing fantastically. No, hold on. I don't even want to know if they are doing fantastically and well. Is far they are a bit far away from them. No, Let what they are saying that a game could just they could a just favor them. Because of the 20 million. And yeah, it could motivate it could motivate rivers. Let me help you. Edinburgh will play very, very well. Now we United are talking. Win. See the love I have for you. Rivers United will win. <laughs> <laughs> Well, All right, let's match up. <laughs> let's match up. It's going to be an interesting game. I'm very sure uh, on Monday we'll bring you highlights of that game. But it's a fantastic one. Uh, it will display the artistry of football in Nigeria and talent will be born. I just hope Janet Raw will watch this game. And he wouldn't dare tell me there are no talents after that game. Let's move on. Talking about talent, Kelechi Ianashaw showed what he has, even if he's not playing constantly for Leicester City. Uh, Tayo. He said something after the game that he never thought he would be picked for this game. Mm -hmm. So it was a surprise element. Mm -hmm. And the coach was impressed. Yes, um, the, the truth is uh, Brandon Rivers has mm -hmm. done a lot mm -hmm. just to bring out the best from him. And it's a good one that they, they were able to beat Brighton. And it's just 1-0. Mm -hmm. And he was the decider. So it's a fantastic minute. one. And you could see the reaction of the coach. Mm -hmm. He was very happy. And... It's a good one for him, but the, the beauty of it is to be able to translate the mm -hmm. same form into national teams. Because each time he comes home to play for Super, he always struggles. Mm -hmm. do, so you know, do you know that Kalechi in actually is a comedian? I saw a video yeah. where he was playing. Uh, he is, though. He's uh, the joker uh, of the team. Uh, uh, what's this guy's uh, name now? This local artist. artist yeah. And Brené Rogers was dancing. Hey, mm -hmm. Joe, mm -hmm. hey, Joe, Joe. she's not <laughs> I was like, yeah. hey, she, and everybody in that yeah. dressing room were dancing to what he was playing. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we wish him the very best. Uh, they're right now in the quarterfinals of the English FA Cup. And uh, we just hope that um, with the current pairing, they will definitely get far. Before we go on this break, I need to talk about this. Um, Ijoma, Coach Adeboye Onibode is not a stranger to Nigerian football. Is an astute administrator, is a fantastic coach, is a father, is a counselor, is a mentor. But he has decided finally to put everything he has mm -hmm. in a book so that when he eventually leaves to the great beyond, people can tap into it. Because I know that uh, God willing, that man should still be with us for that 20 years. Mm -hmm. He's somebody, when he speaks, mm -hmm. he is knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. The book itself, what can you uh, really put together? Considering the fact that the launch is coming up very soon about his autobiography. Yeah, I think this is what people should do more. I think um, if the likes of Keshi, the likes of um, 
Jericho. Jericho, all of this one that have left us. If they've left us a menu, this is just like a manual yeah. for us to follow. Mm. And this is what the coach has done that I love. His own knowledge, I've been able to sit and watch him talk the for FIFA 25 minutes. Instructor. And he's very knowledgeable. And I was I, I remember there was a conference I asked him, can you just put something together that we the younger ones would now read and tell our children? And our children will tell our children children. Though that way will continue, he said he will do something. Little did I know that five years later, a mm. book like this will come, come out. And then I'm just waiting to be able to read all of the knowledge he has been able to yeah, get that book. Years. I'll get and that. then you know we keep pushing, we keep saying, okay, if you want a manual on how you succeed or how you even want to coach, why not go you read up this book? I think it's a fantastic job he's done. Just like the likes of Onibude. Tayo, considering the pedigree coach Onibude has, having coached the national team, having been to FIFA, CAF, um, traveled around the world, do you really think the Nigerian coach would want to get into his shoes? Because the frustration of coaching in Nigeria is mm. quite, quite painful. Well, um, the, the truth is we don't um, honor our own because I don't expect people like this. You know, whenever he has, like uh, Ijoma just said, he has given... Um, initiatives when it comes to football, most especially about super youth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we discover that probably because he's a black man, he's a Nigerian, if he was to be a white man, mm. maybe they would have respected him mm -hmm. enough. But for me, I feel he's somebody that um, the upcoming coaches mm -hmm. should have learn to from. Up to. Mm -hmm. They should learn they should from because, from um, you know, many people might not like it. Yeah, I keep saying it. We the, super, the current super people, they don't have formation. At all. And people like this, they've been to Nations Cup. Mm -hmm. They've won silver. Mm -hmm. They've even done more than some of our foreign coaches. Mm -hmm. But you discover that uh, probably we have a problem with whites. Anything that is white, <laughs> it's always. So, he's a good in. one that is, is having a manual. And even somebody like uh, Ferguson did something like that. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, if it's a good one because it's over that even players that he has coached, mm -hmm. some of them have uh, they've managed clubs mm -hmm. in Premiership. So yeah. it's, it's a good one and our coach will learn from this. All right, it's a good one. We're waiting for that book to be launched and I can assure you that I will grab a copy because I still want to keep learning as I'm learning. We'll go on this break. When we come back, we'll be taking you straight to Europe. But this time around, we'll start from athletics, where Blessing Okagbari is doing fantastically well. He's, she's right now in the Guinness Book of Records. We'll also tell you how fantastic Alali uh, performed. And uh, we'll stop there. We'll take you to the Bavarian. That's Bayern Munich. And we'll look at the EPL before we round up the show this afternoon. We'll be right back after this break.